Hey everyone, today we are going to do something very interesting. So today we are going to add Google Maps and MapKit both to a React Native app in just 10 simple steps. So let's see what steps we need to follow. So first thing first we need to initialize a React Native project and I have already done that. I have an initialized React Native project and now I will go ahead and follow the step 2 that is I will install React Native Maps package. So let's go ahead and do that. First I will go inside my project and name of my project is map app and then I will install React Native Maps and I'm going to use version 15.2 You can use the latest version if your React Native is the latest one but this version is working fine for me so I will be using this because there are some issues uh, with uh, the change in version so we won't get into those issues right now and we will just see the version that is completely working perfectly fine so uh, my package installed so next step is to link the package I have all the steps written on the blog on my website so you can go through these steps these are theoretically there so you can take your time and go through them uh, one by one so let's link the package just we installed right now Okay, so our package is linked and now we will go ahead and create a pod file. So we need to first go to the iOS directory and we need to fire command pod in it. Okay, so our pod file is created. We can go to the editor and we can check this pod file here. There is a pod file. So now we need to add this code to our pod file. and now we will go ahead make sure you you change your this name with your project name okay this is the name of my project so you need to change this with your project name so now let's go ahead and install the pod So it will install Google Maps and other pod mentioned in the pod file.
okay so our pod installation is done and there are 13 dependencies and there are three total pods that are installed that's all we need and now there must be a x uh, a workspace file that must have got created this is our workspace file so we need to open uh, the project using this workspace file okay this is our project and now we need to add here google maps into the in the root of the project so we will right click on the project and we will select option add files to map app and we will go to node modules and next we will go to react native app sorry react native maps and we will go to live we will go to ios and here we have here google maps so we will select this and we will make sure you have this create groups option selected and coffee items if needed checked so then now we can click on add button and our air google maps has been added and next step is to add add the rate import google maps before add implementation in app delegate dot m so we will do that we will go to our project app delegate dot m and we will add at the rate import google maps before at the rate implement app de app delegate so let's see what's the next step next step is to add the key in the did finish launch with options function so we will go ahead and add this and now we need to replace this with the actual uh, google api key so you can just go to your google console and create a key i already have a created key so i will use that So we just just need to paste our key here and next we need to go to the build settings and header search paths. So let's go to build settings and header search path here is the header search path and here we need to paste this url this path the path is to air maps to sorry this path is to air maps and we need to paste it
and make sure you make this recursive from non recursive so it's done and let's see what's the next step next step is to enable google map sdk for ios in google console so this uh, option has already been enabled in my google console so i will skip this step and next is to download and add the following example so here i have an example zip that you can download from here and uh, <coughs> I already have it downloaded so I will just uh, use that example so you need to place it in the root here I have the example folder and in the index.js file I have a code I will copy this code and I will use it in iOS index.js.js just have to change this name with my project name that is map app so that's it the 10 steps we have followed and hopefully uh, everything should be good and let's go ahead and run the project let's see if we have not left any step so we have installed the react native project then we have installed the package step 2 then we have linked the package step 4 we have initialized the pod file 